So Forbes have gotten out their calculators and done their sums and have come out with their list of the most overpaid and best value stars of the year 2016. And Forbes only looked at the last three films an actor starred in before June 2016 because apparently it took them six months to make this list. Annoyingly, Jai Courtney is not on the worst value list, meaning that he is probably still going to be appearing in films next year. For reasons that I can't work out, they have excluded all animated films, and for reasons that I can, they have also excluded films that opened on less than 2,000 screens, films where the actors appeared in an insignificant role, and obviously they had to appear in a film that was released this calendar year. The magazine then takes the estimated production budget away from the global box office returns for each film to work out each one's operating income. That figure is then added to the estimated total fee for each star across their three films to discover the final figure for return on investment. But without further ado... Matt Damon and Jennifer Lawrence. $17.70 for every $1 paid. Bradley Cooper. Box office return rate, $12.10 for every $1 paid. Joy fared poorly at the box office, making only $101 million on a $60 million budget, and Aloha fared even worse. Julia Roberts. Box office return rate, $10.80 for every $1 paid. The only woman in the list is most likely a reflection of the fact that there is still a significant pay gap between the amount paid to male and female stars in Hollywood than anything else. Robert Downey Jr. $18.40 for every $1 paid. Leonardo DiCaprio. Box office return rate, $9.90 for every $1 paid. Humongous budgets make it difficult to balance the books, even more so when the star commands a hefty chunk of back-end profits. Such is the case with Leonardo DiCaprio, whose films earn $9.90 at the box office for every $1 he is paid. The revenant stars outsized paychecks mean that even when a film performs well, grossing $533 million on a $135 million budget in this case, his ROI does not seem as impressive. But DiCaprio's last two films, The Revenant and Wolf of Wall Street, both earned him Best Actor Oscar nods and wide critical acclaim, a different reward valued deeply by some investors. Ben Affleck, $20.10 for every $1 paid. Mark Wahlberg. Box office return rate $9.20 for every $1 paid. Daddy's Home was a hit, but his average still suffers from 2014's The Gambler, which barely broke even. Deepwater Horizon, which flopped, doesn't feature in this list, but will probably ensure he's back here next year. <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, $27.80 for every $1 paid. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Box office return rate, $7.60 for every $1 paid. I truly cannot understand what anyone sees in this man's films. Even though he's now polluting Netflix with his comedy, his film The Ridiculous Six released on Netflix holds a rare 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, he appears here thanks to Pixels, Blended and Grown Ups 2. Vin Diesel, $32 for every $1 paid. George Clooney. Box office return rate, $6.70 for every $1 paid. Once untouchable, his box office returns have waned to $6.70 for every $1 paid. He is still beloved by those who see his films. Hail Caesar was enjoyed by critics but fared modestly at the box office. Money Monster performed a little better, but Clooney's average takes a big hit from 2015's Tomorrowland, which barely grossed more than its eye-watering $190 million budget. Mila Kunis. $49.50 for every $1 paid. Will Ferrell. Box office return rate, $6.50 for every $1 paid. Slightly better than last year when he ranked third, even though he's making less. He made $6.80 for every dollar paid last year. Ferrell's average is dragged down by Zoolander 2, which made $56 million on a $50 million budget and currently holds around 23% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Scarlett Johansson, $88.60 for every $1 paid. Channing Tatum. Box office return rate, $6 for every $1 paid. Tatum makes the list, even though he starred in several hits. I mean, Magic Mike XXL was a veritable success, notching $122 million on a $14.8 million budget. But Tatum still returns just $6 at the box office for every dollar paid, and that's because his three-movie average is dragged down 
by 2015 flop Jupiter Ascending, which earned just 8 million more than its $176 million production budget. Chris Pratt, $125.40 for every $1 paid. Will Smith, box office return rate $5 for every $1 paid. Just to point out that these figures are based in part on his medical drama Concussion and the romantic comedy Focus, but they do not factor in comic book movie Suicide Squad, which arrived in cinemas in August. Similarly, Collateral Beauty won't feature. Chris Evans, $135.80 for every $1 paid. Johnny Depp, box office return rate, $2.80 for every $1 paid. Keeping his crown by quite a margin is Johnny Depp. This is mostly due to Alice Through the Looking Glass performing like a lead balloon. $300 million on a $170 million budget. And unless Pirates of the Caribbean, my god not another one, is a hit of unimaginable proportions, which it won't be, he'll be here next year with some significantly reduced star power. And there you have it guys, the worst and best value stars of 2016. Any surprises? And who do you think is going to be on the list next year? Comment below, let me know. I'm Daniel, this has been A What on Earth. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe.